Hi guys, it's Farmer Mad Mimi, and do I have some news for you. We will not be candling any eggs today. I know, I know, but the eggs are on lockdown now. I just happened to check an egg earlier today and it had made its internal pip, which means that he is trying to break through the shell and make its external pip, and then we'll start his zip all the way around the shell to come out. So, since I noticed that, I put everybody, all the eggs on lockdown. Now, I don't know if this will work, but I will try to um, candle the eggs with them in the incubator. And I'll just take the top off of the incubator. I'm not sure how it's going to work, um, if we will be able to see the little ones in there or not, but I will try. But I just wanted to let you know that from now on, um, they will just be sitting and getting ready to hatch. We're going to have an early hatch because um, tomorrow was supposed to be lockdown day and they went on lockdown today on day 24. So I'm going to cut the lights out. I'm going to see if we can get this to work. And um, let me take the top off the incubator first because I'm going to need some light to do that. And then I'll get up and cut the light off. And then we'll start looking to see what we can do. So, hold on one second. Don't get too excited now, because we might not be able to see anything. Um, I haven't tested this because um, I was out helping set up for the community baby shower that is tomorrow. So all of the stuff got donated there, um, and I was help setting up, and so that's why I'm home late tonight. So hold on one second. Hello, little eggy, eggy, eggies. Okay. So while we try this, while we try this, you will hear the motor on the incubator running. Um, I just lifted it up and kind of did that with it. So they are getting a cool down period, which is fine because mama ducks get up off the eggs and they do cool down a little. So that's not going to hurt them. But I'm going to go over there real quick. I just have to kind of step over cut the light out, and then we'll be ready. So, hold on. Well, maybe I can. Okay. We are in the dark. Don't panic. I'm right here. Ooh, you want to tell ghost stories? Hey! Get out of there, you silly, stupid cat. Okay, Persephone was trying to get inside. Okay, so let me figure out how I'm going to do this. Okay, so I'm going to cut you guys off, and then I'm going to come back. Okay, guys, so here are, there are the eggs in the incubator. So now I'm going to see if I can make my way over here. And we'll start at the back with the numbers and see how the, if we can see anything. So this is number one. Well, I'm not sure. Oh, there it goes. Can you see the shadow on it? I guess not. Okay, let's go to number two. Let me see if I can find a better place for my foot. Hold on a second. 
There we go, that'll be better. Okay, so... What did I do? Oh, I have my finger in front. That's number one. Okay. Persephone, please. You're killing me. There. Okay. Madonna, I think yours is number one. And it has made its an internal pip. And it is working on coming out. I'm sorry, this is kind of shaky. Number two has made its internal pip. It is right over there where that shadow is. Number three, you can see it really well. It's right there tapping on the egg to try to come out. Alrighty, number five. He has made his internal pip and he is trying to come out. Number six. He has made his, there he is right there. Number seven. He has made his. Okay. Number eight. He's knocking on the shell, trying to get out. Number nine. Nothing on number nine yet. Number ten. Yeah, I think he is out. Right there. Eleven. He is out. Number twelve. There he is right there, knocking on the shell. Twelve. Thirteen is right there, and he's knocking on the shell. 15, he is out and knocking on the shell, 16 is out and knocking on the shell, so right now the only one that is not out is number 9, let me put the, I'm going to stop and I'm going to put this back on. Okay, Persephone, move your tail. All right. All right, guys, so you saw that um, 13 of the 14 have made their internal pip, which means they have broken through the membrane. Ouch. And they are starting to knock on the shell to, um, to start to hatch. So we are going to have an early hatch. Um, things are looking great so far. I'm not worried. The only egg that has not is number nine. And I'm not worried about number nine yet. Um, because we're still early. So he still has plenty of time. And um, we just watch and see what goes from there. Hopefully tomorrow morning when I wake up... Um, will have a duck or at least a duck that has broken through um, and on his way to hatching completely. So that is the update for today and this will be the last time that we candle them and we just waiting. So here's to a happy healthy batch of ducklings. Are you guys excited now? We should be having ducklings anytime now. All right. Persephone and I are saying bye-bye. She is not a happy camper, is she?
<laughs> All right. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll try to do a couple of updates. Um, I might even do a Zoom. Um, I'll have to see uh, what time after the community baby shower what we can do. But um, in the morning before I do head out, I will try to update and see, you know, if we have a hatchling, I will update in the morning before I go. And if not, then I'll wait till I get back. So I'll see you guys later. Have a great evening. Oops, it's already tomorrow. So technically it is day 25, but this all happened on day 24. We're just calling it day 24 because I'm still awake. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>